Hey everyone, welcome to a special episode of Sunday Morning Hangover. This is Jason. And this is Kai, and we have another great discussion for you today. Uh, the movie of the day is El Conde. It's a Netflix film. It's from 2023. So sorry for the spoilers, but it should be a good episode. Yeah, and uh, and we have a special guest, Patty. Hello. <laughs> She's basically a member of the podcast. She's yeah, basically. on all the time. I show no. her everything. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah I see She everything. watches all the movies with you. Yeah, yeah she watches yeah. all the movies. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, like oh, say this, next... say this, say that. Uh, on Fridays, it's like, it's like, oh, what, like, what are we watching for a podcast? <laughs> 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 but El, El Conde, which is Spanish for the, for the count, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So this was a, this was cool. This is a vampire movie. Which yeah. is, and also it was political a satire. Yeah. Right? A dictator that's a vampire. Yeah. That's, I think I, heard, that's I read vampire. the first line of the movie and I was like, oh, I really love it. I really love it. <laughs> 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 I'm down. <laughs> it's, it's going to be great, period. <laughs> so, so let's start off with that. Like, what what do you like most about the movie, Patty? <sighs> that it was black and white. Hmm. That was one of mine, was like the cinematography. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a beautiful looking movie. I yeah. Think no matter what. The, I, I I think we, we just enjoy black and white quite a bit. I think. <laughs> there's just something about it. Like, yeah. Color is beautiful, sure. but there's something about black and white that color cannot touch. Yeah. Yeah. It presents the, the lighting, story differently. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because then you're not focused on like, oh, why is that red or why is that yellow? You're like, oh, I'm engaged in the image that's in front of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think this, Patty, do you think this movie would have been different if it was color? Absolutely. Like all the blood and the goriness and the things that you see that were like gruesome, you would have taken it too. differently. Yeah. If it was all like in color, like all the blood, especially, I think you would have only focused on that instead of the story itself. Right. I, I think mm-hmm. so, too. I, I think you're exactly right, where it's like, especially that first killing where he's, like, smashing the... Hey, that, the that's head. exactly what I what I think yeah. about. Yeah, like, that yeah. one would have changed Like, I'm it. like, am I watching a Saw movie? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would have been, like, the house that Jack built. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah. it would have been really intense. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it does transition to color at the end. So it was, like, it was interesting. But it was, like, a muted color. Yeah. It wasn't vibrant. It was like more of like that a, too. a dull true. yellow, uh, which was interesting. But I think if yeah, if they would have done that. that for the whole movie, like what Patty said, it would have kind of like taken away from it. I think yeah. the black and white is like it's almost like a Nosferatu type of like movie in this perspective right now. Yeah, like really dramatic black and white. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Kai? What would you like most? I think Patty hit hit it. I really enjoyed the cinematography as we just talked about. <clears throat> I enjoyed the uh, watching the count fly for some reason. Me that too. Was cool to me. Cause, <laughs> like they have all these films with like flying superheroes and those are cool, but there was something about like the subtlety of this count just flying through the sky and nothing's around and you just see the entire city. That was cool to me. You can tell it was fake. It was CGI. Yeah. But it looked- it looked but great. it still like, looked really cool. Like even that one where he's like flying over the the the, the body of water. It was like we we're watching Harry Potter recently, and they were like mm-hmm. flying over water, and it's like it was a very like magical scene where it's just like yeah. a little thing just floating by. <laughs> 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 I, no matter what, I think yeah, I think I think that's something that we're gonna like really hit on is that the cinematography or just the way this movie looks, yeah, is is almost like. The best thing, in my opinion, is like the best thing of this movie. That's I, honestly my opinion, also. Yeah, actually, yeah. When I was watching it, I know this is going to be kind of like out of left field and stuff. Oh, but what did you like before you go into that? Well, oh, th- yeah. this is like this is sort of kind of going into like what I like. I like uh, the okay. humor. I thought you were going to say no, I hated it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I like the humor of like basically it's political satire. So yeah. the the family is this dictatorship, and they're this this dumb. It, the the movie really tried to show the children of the dictator like as like this like these dumb kind of well privileged pe- people that yeah. don't know where money comes from and also 
don't know the crimes that the father the had father to do to did. Get the, they get acknowledge the money. they don't want to work. Yeah. 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 So, so Where's that the money was like, from? that was hilarious where it's like, you're, you're kind of like, you're sitting there and you're like hearing them talk and it's like, all right, like this is like typical social media people and everything like that have like fake fame. They're yeah. like, oh, I'm famous, yeah. but it's because my dad's a, a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't, we never talk about what he does. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Like we don't say anything. But what I, what I was what I was going to is like it was it's the cinematography, the shots. Mm-hmm. But oddly enough, I kind of wrote down in my in my notes. I I saw like sort of a Wes Anderson type of like inf- like not like an influence, but like, like a reference to it. Like a reference. Like some of the shots were like lo- like close up to the to the the family members and. Mm-hmm. It's sort of those those obscure like let me take a oh. let me take a photo of you and the butler kind of like poses, poses. and it's like a yeah, really like long that's shot. True. Yeah. And so I was like, man, like weirdly enough, this is like I think Wes Anderson's style can work in a lot of things. Mm-hmm. But a political satire where like your dictator's a vampire <laughs> would be <laughs> a funny use of like the Wes Anderson style. <laughs> Because it's such a different premise, but that fits that Wes Anderson style of like just off the wall premises. Yeah, I, I think so. And, and sorry, that that's what came to my mind and stuff. But mm. it it was a it was enjoyable movie to watch. Yeah. Oh, I saw, it actually was. <clears throat> yeah. And and I and I think the characters were were fun and interesting and stuff. At the end, Margaret Thatcher some, somehow somehow shows up. So when she said her name, I was like, "As in Thatcher?" <laughs> and Margaret that. Thatcher was the narrator, narrator the whole time, yeah. right? Yeah. So because, that's what like, threw me off with this movie. Like, I saw the name, I started it. I'm like, "This is all going to be in Spanish," but then for whatever reason, Netflix automatically was like, "Oh, let's give it to you in English." And I was like, "Oh, there's a narrator speaking in English this entire time." That threw me off, but I like the balance of like the narration. Well, I loved and hated the the balance of the narration versus the dialogue. That was yeah. something I had on my uh, my dislikes. Oh, I, I was like confused at first because the narration was in English, and then mm-hmm. but I was like, why is it showing me subtitles in Spanish? Yeah, yeah. So then I knew something was wrong, and then it was eventually. But you wouldn't be able to figure out because. They don't have like actual dialogue between the characters until like what, like thirty Later. minutes in. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. a long time until the the characters actually speak to each other. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you you do have. I would recommend watching it in the original. Netflix says it in the in the like when you're choosing the subtitles, where it's Spanish dialogue, which is what it oh, was with filmed English. in yeah. with English subtitles. So then you listen to the English dialogue and then nothing going on yeah. but but yeah so I, I think that's like the best recommendation for that no matter what it's just so that you don't get confused and you're not watching the movie in spanish and then you're like what happened like uh, am i supposed to watch it like this <laughs> <laughs> Is that even supposed though Patty, to happen that way? patty's fluent in spanish though she probably won't even notice <laughs> but yeah I, I i think the characters were uh, a good thing I, terms of like who's your favorite character patty like is it the count or is it like Edward? oh i like the mother the margaret thatcher mother yeah yeah, yeah i like yeah, the she mother. was cool i like the count a lot too but i like the mother yeah yeah i think the yeah the mom i was yeah i was kind of shocked by the acting and the portrayal of the nun the nun was cool. She she kind of like did everything that like you like super religious <laughs> like way over. But then like when that that turn of the like, all right now bite me. It's like why? Huh? What was the whole point of that? Like, <laughs> and it seemed like that was part of the plan, right? Like she was yeah. supposed to get bitten. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Like, she knew it was going to happen. Like all of all of the the intimate involvement with the count. But then was it? part of the plan also to get bitten i thought maybe but i think she was shocked or surprised and kind of like let herself lead into it um how it felt to be a vampire and i totally thought like her plan was going to just like go out the window and she was going to change her plans 
but I thought it was even better that she didn't. That she still yeah. like Stuck was going on. to move uh uh-huh, move forward with her plans mm-hmm. even though having been changed physically. Yeah, because you saw the kind of like enlight like enlightenment probably is probably the, not the correct term to use in terms of like a religious person being turned into a vampire. But... Right. <laughs> but 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 you saw that kind of like moment where it's like she yeah. instantly was able to fly and then like you can tell she's kind of like learning how to, to fly to too. Yeah. And, and and it it just shows like all right like this is like a, a change in the... But uh what about and you? She was like I... okay back to business. She was like back to business. Yeah, After right. That, right? Yeah. But what we about we already got your favorite character, right? I didn't want yeah. to skip over yeah. but but I, I jumped in front of Patty, so yeah. apologies for that. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of like negatives, what would you say about this movie, Patty? Nothing. Patty loved it. Yes, I did. <laughs> Five star. Six stars. This is definitely <laughs> like one of my favorite movies i'm i'm now interested in the rest of the director's movies he has a there's an article in the criterion collection of his 10 movies oh yeah cool oh, whoa okay where he goes into the, into the the movie collection and chooses his <laughs> yeah that's cool cool so well, what about yeah. you kai what like yeah. what's what's the negative uh i touched on it like I think it was like the the narration and the dialogue. There was some like overlaps in some cases that were kind of wonky. And then I enjoyed the premise because I know we had talked about like watching a film and the premise a little bit before we actually watched it. But there were some moments where I was like, ah, I didn't feel like it. They executed it very well. Those are my only gripes. That's like I, super super nitpicky. Like which ones? Oh, I didn't even write any examples. Well, I think what what I don't know. If Kai's, <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know if Kai's just... getting to this, but I I think yeah. for me it was the like it's hard if you're not connected to that political satire or like yeah, that might have been connected what it is, to yeah. the subject matter. If <clears throat> if people don't understand who Pinochet is and understand what they did for their country, you probably wouldn't have a connection to this. You're like, why is this guy? accounts and you would probably find this like this story obscure and fun to watch but you're not connected to the story so to speak or the 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 character of why are they making fun of pinochet i think i don't know probably might have been what was in my brain but i could not execute that the way you just said that so thank you well that's that's sort of (laughs) what i was thinking the whole time it's like yeah like it was it's a like, good, it was a good movie. Like you said, it was fun to watch. The cinematography was beautiful, but I think going into it not knowing that backstory of like, hey, this is the director's idea of poking fun at a uh, historic figure and all the bad things or quote unquote bad things that he did. Like going into the movie not knowing that and just watching it for a film, it was like, oh, this is fun, but that's it. But if you go into it knowing that, hey, this is a political satire. Here's a little bit of the backstory, and then watch it with those, that lens. I think I would have a different view. So they they kind of explained his backstory and touched on a little bit like of his regime and what he was doing. So you think In that was yeah. glossed? Yeah, like that was glossed over, like too generally. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm trying yeah, to like say it like might have been too quick. Yeah, mm-hmm. and also like I think most people don't have a connection to what. Pinochet was, or even like a dictatorship too. I think most people, and so it's like it's it's more of like you have to have a like a little bit of understanding. They did give a little bit of flavor. Yeah. You do understand these people are douchebags, and they don't they don't understand how life works for for, for everyone else around them basically. Uh, and, and it's basically them just fighting over the inheritance of this the money. Person that's gave me the money alive for two hundred fifty years and stuff and. And trying to figure out who gets the money and stuff and but i don't know i feel like that can be lost like i i feel like a big recommendation for watching this movie which i would say watch this movie but i think mm-hmm. kind of i don't know do you have to do your research like 
look up like just simple like what Pinochet was. I would just say do a quick Google search. Yeah, like look up like Chile, and look up Pinochet and stuff. And and I think you don't have to, but I think it will kind of give you more context. Yeah. To it, they do do it in the movie. Mm. Um, but I think, I think we may have some understanding of what Pinochet was, but if someone is not well too knowledgeable of that, then it's like, it's almost like, all right, like you just kind of have to think like, all right, it's like making a political satire of like, of Hitler from Germany or, or of one of our political people that we don't like and stuff in america and stuff and so <laughs> like this is like I, but i think oddly enough this is a good way to kind of make a political satire where like yeah some people will be offended but some people will probably be like that's kind of funny and that was pretty yeah. good because <laughs> you'll get like you said like you'll get both sides like some people will look at it like oh this is just a funny or a great film other people will be like oh i understand the context behind why this film is so good and what they're actually discussing yeah I think what made it is that the film is nice to look at. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was a well done movie. Um, And then, and then the subject matter, it was more so like, how do you convey the subject matter in a movie that everyone can watch? And I think they did that kind of like pretty well. They did that well. Yeah. Yeah. And especially putting on Netflix too. Like I think everybody would, would be able to have a chance to watch it on Netflix. Yeah. And then it draws you in with the post, like the posters, pretty black and white with the pink font like who's Patty not gonna was click like, on that Patty loved that pink yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, why really would you cool. not click on that <laughs> true I have a question for both of you has there ever been in any films TV shows that you've watched has there ever been a poor vampire <laughs> <laughs> like is it even possible like you're around for hundreds and hundreds and maybe thousands of years like is there any way you can be poor like you just suck at life like there's gotta be some <laughs> vampires that just suck at life <laughs> <My choice. laughs> okay yeah i can see that i'm trying to think of a specific because like i've i uh the whole vampire lore i love it i know i feel like i know mm-hmm. everything about vampires i can't think of any one in particular but i could say that if it was it's only because of choice because they're kind of like tired about life Mm-hmm. And they might have like their things and stuff like somewhere else, but they're choosing not to engage in that. Because there was Actually, a little yes. bit of that in this. I like... kind of have one in in uh, in mind. He's a character. He's Louis um, from Anne Rice's books. Um, mm-hmm. One of the vampires, if anybody knows, uh, one of the one of the um, the main character in Interview with a Vampire. Um, the one that Lestat like falls in love with, and that's his Louis, and everything. He chooses not to engage in all the riches and all the, mm-hmm. I guess, like fantastical things about being a vampire. He's he's always described as living um, in a house, dark. It's not tidy. He doesn't keep up with um, like technology or lighting or just like proper like decoration the way that Lestat describes it because he is he's a uh-huh. he's a big diva. Um, he's just like a, like a, he's honestly an emo vampire. Okay. Like a hermit <laughs> almost. Uh, kind of. Yeah. 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 Like he's a little upset about being a vampire, but he knows okay. he is and what he needs to do to survive. But he's always described as like not kept up in appearance very well. Um, his house is never kept up, uh, as well. You would, you would argue that he's a poor vampire in hmm. that sense. Okay. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I think that's what everyone believes with vampires, right? Where like you you have this like they're they're always like you have a wealth well, of knowledge. They're like twenty years old forever and stuff, mm-hmm. and, and all this stuff, and they have like all the riches in the world, and then they have like this like this majesty to them because they wear like they they can wear everything they want and stuff. And they, they always look very fashionable. Uh, but you know, yeah, I, twenty fashionable forever. Yeah, see? but I think that's like what, what was confusing about this movie is that he was old and you're like, yeah, why is he old? old? But I think it oh. goes to what Patty was saying is that mm-hmm. he chose. He just gave up. Yeah, yeah he was, that was exactly what I was going to touch on. on life. Yeah, he kept arguing like, I'm 250 years old. Like, I'm giving you this woman, this and that. And then I'm, <laughs> right? I'm old. Like, yeah, no <laughs> I'm done. Like, I've done it all. Because at some and point, you've done it, it all. Or 
for the for the young nun. Yep. Quick. <laughs> quick. Hella quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now he speaks French and he's like, okay. <laughs> right? He's no yet. All yeah. the French comes right out of him. Like, Whoa, I gotta go man. eat some hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in the game now. Yeah. <laughs> 250 well, me... years old is not that old either. No. Oh, for, in vampire terms. Yeah, yeah I thought like yeah. that was that was. And yeah. for him to be tired of everything, he's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like whatever. Yeah. It's like I, I've conquered like I, many lands. I've seen it years. all. I've done it all. <laughs> I've houses everywhere. Like I got these terrible kids. Yeah, yeah. That that was like the funny part at the end where he's like, the, the kids were still asking like, who gets the money? He's like, God damn it, these kids. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks away with his mom. He just walks like, away. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and, and let me ask you this: Do we were to assume that he ate enough hearts that he's a child now? Yeah. Is that like, what, like I, 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 I don't yeah. know how, how okay. to yeah, 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 because yeah. that threw me off too. Okay, so I was like, I was like, man, is that like, like that's what's supposed to be happening? But, but like, Do wouldn't you... he run the school? Like, he knows everything, right? <laughs> His knowledge didn't disappear, like, he would know everything. <laughs> he just... Well, if he terrible. was tired of life, I could totally understand why he would kind of want to start over. Like, why be tired of life and then choose to go back, like, maybe in your 20s, between 20s and 40s? Like, no. Nah. I would want to start over completely. Just start. Start all the mm-hmm. way over. Jeez. At, at least as youngest as, like, being able to form and remember more memories. Because yeah, I wouldn't yeah. go back to being five. Like, well, five basically, great, he gets but... to be able to have a life with his mom, too, technically. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. what like, I think what the whole thing was about and stuff. Like now is that is that a happy ending for this this horrible dictator <laughs> in this story? For him, basically. yeah. Yeah, because he totally. was able to finagle everything. He got rid of uh, yeah, he got out scot free <laughs> of all of the things he had done. Yeah, like, and he gets to have like, a mom. He was chilling. Yeah. And a mom that's and a rich too. mom. Yeah. Mo- yeah. M- yeah. Many, Secured. many houses. <laughs> He's not to worry about those stupid kids. Now, now, do you do you recommend this movie, and who do you recommend it to? Yes, and anybody. <laughs> Honestly, is this is one I would that? Say yes. Yeah, because we kind of touched on it. I think if like you can go into it with no context and enjoy it, and just treat it like, oh, this is just a good movie, or you can go into it, do a quick Google search, and have a different out- outlook. So I think anybody would be down to watch this and enjoy. You it. know what? I I can now understand like if you don't know certain things they might get lost on you like like mm-hmm. very poignantly at the end when Margaret reveal, reveals herself to be as the Margaret Thatcher mm-hmm. if you didn't know who that was and why that was suddenly a big deal in the movie that could totally be lost on you it kind of like yeah. the movie continues to me like that's what made it an even bigger deal so if somebody doesn't know then yeah that's it's that's like, one right. downside for sure yeah yeah, you can't have to know a little bit about about history of some multiple, <laughs> multiple a little bit of the world, especially yeah. like France. It starts off with French and French and stuff, and and uh, France, uh, and then <laughs> France and France. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I say yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like this this movie is kind of difficult to 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 recommend to someone that likes vampires. Really? Like he's only looking really? to watch something about vampires because it like a vampire like it's it's there it's but it's not the not the the soul it's not like watching an interview with a vampire it's not like because like that goes into more in depth of like i think people that like vampires it's more so it's like what what is the they like the glitz and the glamour yeah and or the reasoning behind their vampire like why do they go out and eat this and that and yeah like, this dude just kind of exists as a vampire <laughs> Yeah, and just figured cool. out like all right well i can conquer this land conquer so to speak and stuff and, yeah. and do this coup but i'm a vampire so it's like i just kind of like last forever but eventually he has to figure out how to like get away from that so that is kind of like his turmoil because he can't just be there forever and then the world's gonna be like hey <laughs> like you're not dying or whatever <laughs> so i i feel like this is like it like the vampire subject is there. It's like more so it's like, all right, that, that was a good way to kind of like sell this, this satire. So 
well, no matter what, I think if if you enjoy a good looking movie and just want to watch something on on Netflix, that it's kind of like it's pretty interesting to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I would recommend this too. I, I think I would probably recommend recommend this to my to my parents. All enough, it's flipped. Typically, I'm always like saying like I can write, recommend like, no, things to my no, no, to no. my uh, to my brothers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think this is a good movie for my parents actually, um, because I think they would like yeah. enjoy like the the way it looks and and the, the subject matter and stuff and and uh, even the Spanish dialogue and stuff. They both can listen and, and understand Spanish themselves. Um, yeah. So I think my parents would enjoy this one the most. I think I'm going to send this to them when when they uh, want to have a movie to watch and stuff. And it's, it's on Netflix. Hey, enjoy it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that feeds into like what 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 do we give this as a rating? Uh, and we we use Letterbox, which is an app that we we use and stuff. And but what it's typically a one to five stars or zero stars. We haven't given a movie of zero stars, but. That's next uh, month. That's probably next month, yes. That's next month. Oh, that's, that's next cool. month. I'm, ex- I'm so next excited month. for next month. <laughs> oh, we forgot, we forgot to touch on the fact that this month is horror films. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. This month is, is yeah. horror movies. It, it's it's October, so it, yeah. it's expected probably. Spooky month. <laughs> <laughs> next, yeah, next month is bad like movie month. Movies. <laughs> <laughs> but, Patty, what would you give this movie as a rating? Think Five. The perfect score. Hi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh, I gave it a three. Okay. Three. I gave it a three also, and, and I was like, I was pretty, I was pretty, pretty happy with the three and mm-hmm. stuff. And it's like, it, it's a, it's a fairly good, yeah, three. It's, I don't know, it, it, it goes to Patty's comment of like, I want to see more from this director or even the cinematographer and stuff. And see, yeah. And see what they chose in the, in the Criterion Collection. Previous, find, yeah. find things like that. So I, I think this is an enjoyable movie, um, and it's something fun to watch, especially in this October month. Uh, yeah, which is it's not it's not crazy scary. It's not go- it's gory, but at, at but it's co- pretty color gore. scheme. Yeah, the color <laughs> scheme kind of adds to that. But but yeah, this is a fun watch, and I think anybody can can enjoy this. But any last words? Yeah, I was going to say, you'll both find it interesting if you look up um, the article on the Criterion website, um, the movies that he's listing, I'm already mm-hmm. looking at them, that you can see where he got his influence. It's definitely more of this. I think you might change your mind, Jason, not Wes okay. Anderson. Oh, wow. You'll see where that so, comes from, especially the cinematography. Is this... This is like, in like, like, reference see, like, to this film, persona. or this is in reference to his whole like filmography. Just him, him choosing the movies that okay. he likes in his own Criterion collection. One of okay, them is cool. Persona. Oh wow! Yeah, that's yeah. definitely the black and white. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, I kind of got yep. that too. Where and, yeah, and, as well cool. as, and also like subject matter Persona, <clears throat> where Persona yeah. had some like intense subject matter to watch yeah. and stuff during the, the movie. relationship between the nurse and the the lady. Yeah. yeah, and it was a little easier to watch because it was black and white, probably. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I couldn't okay, imagine yeah. the film in color. Like that would be I think so it would have been weird. weird. Yeah. 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 We probably wouldn't be watching it nowadays if it wasn't color. Like I think that's the, the truth. Why yeah. we're watching it is it is black and white. Yeah. But cool. Well, all right, Kai, you want to take us out? Yeah. Uh thanks for joining us for another episode of Saturday Night Popcorn, Sunday morning hangover is this episode. Um Kai. And I'm Jason, and we want to say thank you to Patty. Thank you. Of course, no, thank you. Any other vampire movies, please. Oh, definitely. (laughs) (laughs) And we'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe to our channel, Saturday Night Popcorn, and we'll see you in the next one.